why only novices use cheese. I'm gonna teach you how to trap rodents like a pro. All right, in this lesson, we're gonna just go over some basics of how to trap rodents. And the start with is the different traps we use. A lot of times, I see people getting the mouse traps when they're dealing with a rat. And I'll see this very common where they'll go out and they'll think, oh man, they just don't like the idea that a rat might be there. Most of the time, if it's in your kitchen, about 75% of the time, it's gonna be a mouse. Occasionally, you will find a rat. And when it comes into your attic, about 95% of the time, it's gonna be a rat. So if you're hearing something upstairs, you're gonna to wanna to get rat traps. And you may just wanna get an extra rat trap, even if you're almost positive it's mice, mice in your house. The next thing is the type that you get. There's two types, and you'll usually see the plastic one or the wood one. And you may be wondering, what's the difference between these two different types of traps? Well, it's just the ease of setting them. What I would do is I would start with one, and then I would move to the other type, because sometimes if they get trap shy, what you don't wanna do is have both traps there at the same time, so they're trap shy of both types of traps. So whatever one you start with, if they're not going for them, you can switch to another type of trap. Now, how do you avoid them being trap shy? Well, when you put the trap up there, don't set it. Just put something on that they're attracted to. Although in the cartoons they love cheese in real life, you're better off with something like peanut butter, fruit, or garbage. These are those three different types of material that you wanna use. So one thing they look for is nesting material. So what you can do is take little tiny strips of anything you found in the garbage, like a heavy duty plastic that they pull on it, it'll snap. And I'll show you what it should look like when you're done, right in the picture. And that's kind of what a trap should look like if they're looking for nesting material. Now, if it's in the winter, a lot of times they want a starch. And that's where a good peanut butter is gonna come in handy. Now, when you're doing peanut butter, a lot of times you'll put a giant glob on there. That's not how you wanna put the on a trap. What you wanna do is you wanna do a very light spread all around the trap so they have to really work at it to get the peanut butter off. So in other words, they're not gonna come and just swipe it. But again, when you first go for the trap, if you're gonna put a bait on it, leave it unset. Let them get a free mill so that they will not come back and be trap shy. See, what happens is a rat will come by and they'll do this thing. And if it snaps, they'll never go back to this trap. So what you wanna do is you wanna give them a free mill so they feel safe and they have their smell on it, then come back and set it. Now, a lot of people wonder, how do you set a wood trap? It's actually pretty simple. Hold it like this, pull back with your thumbs and use your thumbs so if it snaps, it goes off. Now, when you got a good thumb holding it down, then you could put it in and raise this little plastic piece right there until there's a little bit of tension. Again, you don't wanna let go with your thumb at all. And sometimes it's gonna be a little bit tricky to find that purse. And then you can hold it down like this. And if it snaps, it's gonna scare you, but it's not gonna hit your thumb. So just slowly let go. And there you go. Always holding it down. And if you're really <laughs> afraid, I'm sure you can get a clamp or something. That's where these plastic ones do come in handy. A lot of times people like the plastic ones because there's a less likelihood of you being snapped and they're just a little bit easier to set. But with these traps, they're not necessarily any better at catching mice or rodents than they are the wood traps. But what I would do is I would only pick one. So sometimes people think, well, if I get the wood ones and the plastic, I'm more likely to catch something. You don't wanna do that. What you don't wanna do is start with the wood ones or start with the plastic ones, try to get them up to eat off of them, start catching them with them and keep on working with them until you can't catch them anymore. And hopefully you don't have to go and move to plan B. But what's nice is if they're trap shy of these type of traps, uh, moving to another type of traps will give you a second round at trying to catch them. So if they get trap shy, they can move over and use the different types of traps. And then the last type of bait, fruit. So if it's in a hot summertime, 
you want to get something with maybe a high sugar and high liquid content so they can get their moisture, get some liquid out of the food they're eating. So usually in the winter, a starch, summer, something with high liquid. And if they're looking and they're just looking for nesting material, usually anything out of the garbage can that you can just get, put it in. And now it's time to place the traps. This is probably one of the biggest things that people mess up with that they won't catch anything. If you put the traps out in the middle of the open like this, most likely they're not gonna get anything. What you wanna think is in lines. So the first line that you can think of is maybe right across the wall. So whether they're coming or going, they'll hit the trap. Now there's some places like behind your refrigerator that there's not enough room for it to go this direction against the wall. So you might consider using two traps and put them at opposite ends like this. So you can pull your refrigerator out, put two traps. So whether they're coming or going, the traps get them like this. So you wanna be looking at lines when setting your trap. And the last thing is, once you catch something on a trap, a lot of people just throw the trap away. But those that have been in the industry for a while realize that a trap that has been used is more likely to get another rat or another mouse on it because it already has their smell on it. So wear gloves, wear a bag. You don't want to get any germs from the rodents. Just let it loose and drop it in the disposal bin and then reset it put some bait on it and you can put it right back where it was. And although sometimes it feels more sanitary to grab a new trap, the old trap will give you better success to use over and over again. So that's my quick guide on how to be a pro at catching rodents. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thanks so much.